Can I climb up this way? Oh, I can. Oh, great. Sprain my ankle now. You dumb shit. What is up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker. We're back with some more Long Dark. And, uh, yeah. There's been a lot. They've actually updated the game. It's kind of cool. We're starving to death, too. Crows. So this is basically... What day is this? I don't even know what day it is. I think it's day four. So today's a, a, a pivotal moment in the game. Something happens today. So we'll have to wait and see. But, again, we got our notes. Crows, your ears are the best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings. You might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder of crows circling up ahead might just be, I mean, it might suggest an animal's carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. I always not a human corpse. I'm not eating human. Oh, whoa. I hate that. All right. So here we go. We got some more stuff to gather up. That's still empty. Oh, hit the wrong button. Is it still empty? Or what is going on here? Yep, it's still empty. All right, so there should be some stuff happening. Now that, oh, that is, that tree did fall. Look at that. So we might be able to get out of this ravine finally. I'm not going to break that up right now. We need to look. We do need some birch. I'm, I'm used to hitting E to pick up stuff, so i got to click it. Give me, you have to be patient with me. We all know how that is. There's a branch. I don't want the branch. I'll get the branch on the way back. we got to get some food first. That'll come in handy. Ooh, nice bunch of books. That's empty. There should be something else. Empty. And we need to get up there, and that's why the tree fell. There we go. So finally, they give you some options to get out of here and do some more exploring. Like I said, the game is kind of... this. Like I said, this isn't the survival aspect of it. This is legitimately more of a playthrough of it and like a story mode. So keep that in mind. Um, there's going to be things that you can't do that you know you can do, but you can't do because it's just not called for at that time. Astrid's back. Oh, nice. Okay, can I pick it up? What the hell? Oh. Oh, shit. How, how am I supposed to get into this? Locked. 913. Do oh, I get to play the game? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, our first cinematic. Just listen. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... The... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, 
Are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. But it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. Yeah, it's mine now. I'm gonna lie. Can I pick up her backpack? Why can't I do that? I mean, wouldn't I want her backpack? I'm confused. Alright, let's go up here. Let's pick up that. Ooh, take it. Clothing. <clears throat> Alright, people. Before we... We'll talk about the cutscene. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. But let's talk about clothing first, people. We need to get the facts going. And we need to get what's important going. And that's about clothing. So let's pay attention, please. We'll get through this quickly. Clothing is armor against cold. It fights the cold. It beats it up. It pummels it. It makes it. It's. It makes the cold its bitch. We're just gonna put it out there. Set it. I'm not going back on that. Okay. Next one. Out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to stay warm. And remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow, or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your risk of hypothermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally. Clothing can protect you from physical injuries such as falling, tangling from wildlife, tangling with the wildlife. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility cost of your combined clothing. I don't care what shit what you say. I'm putting that on. <laughs> I'm cold. It's cold. That's a good jacket. Actions. Can I repair it? Sewing kit. That's awesome. It just says I required materials of that. Time for repair. Wow. Um... Right, we're we'll gonna have to mess with that in a minute. First off, can I, I still can't get those. I do want to pick up the wood. Now we got a deer carcass over here, guys. This carcass could save my life. You think? Look too good, but what choice do I have? Um, harvest all of it? Why would I not? <laughs> it's gonna take a while, but shit, I need the food. Oh, I'm about freezing my butt off again. All right, we gotta get back to the fire. We gotta get. Oh, the wind's blowing. Everything's just kicking up. Everything you eat can kill you. <laughs> That's good to know. Raw meat. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take <laughs> take your chance. But you're. <laughs> oh God. But in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over fire and avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat can also last longer and attracts fewer predators. All right, I'm going down. Calm down. We got a little bit of wood. We probably need to get some more branches, but we're like thirsty. We're hungry. We're freezing. Our life just sucks right now. Let's just... I'm going to put it out there. I think I'm taking damage at this point. Jeez. Good, our fire's still going. Let's put a little bit more on there. All right, fuel. Let's see. I don't want to use a book yet. Cedar fire wood. There we go. And add. Add. So how long we got for? Oh, four hours. See, we're good to go. Alright, so now let's cook some food. Let's cook that. Then we're going to make some more snow water. Because we need water too. So I think I've got water, so I can just drink that. 
I don't know why I just did that twice. We'll cook some more and then we'll... Yeah, we're going to eat it this time. I promise we'll eat it this time. Maybe. Okay, back. All right, so let's see here. Bring up... Oh. Climbing in the Holy oh, shit, shit, that's hot. That did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to bring up my radio. Oh, space bar. Thank you. Oh, that hurts so much. I got water, so we can do we can blow up some more water, but let's eat first before we do all that. That's raw. That's cooked. Let's eat the cooked. That's kind of messed up. They look pretty close. I mean, I'm just saying. Let's eat some more food. I feel like we need to eat fresh cooked. There we go. And life is good again. So how's our stats doing? Well, we're taking some damage. We need to heal up. We're full. I don't know what that sight. I guess it's our sight, maybe. The pain. Are you gonna sit here and gripe about this all day long? You damn sissy. I made some bandages. I know I did, didn't I? Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we did. Let's apply a bandage. It's always the right hand that gets burned. I mean, what's up with that? Take one of those. Just so we don't get infected. Oh, come on. Are you going to go on with that shit again, dude? I'm just trying to keep you healthy. A burn could get infected, you douche. All right, so let's see here. Let's look at the old journal entries this time. You need food to survive. Scavenge what you can and eat until you're full. So I guess we got to keep eating. So let's just keep doing that. Get us some food going. Life is good. No longer hungry. Everything feels good about life. Just gonna cook it all up. We only only had two more pieces left anyway, so. Alright. Alright, so as it stands, well, let's just do this. I think we need to eat more food is what it is. Or do I need to do more scavenging? Okay, clearly I'm full. Let's see. Oh, okay. I explored the ravine. See if you're strong enough to climb back up. Climb out of the ravine. Okay, that's probably the next thing. So we're warmed up. Oh, that hurts so much. oh, shut your mouth, you sissy boy. Oh, can I not climb up here? There we go. I knew I could do it. I believe. Was this the one I want? No. This is the one I want over here. Huh. Oh, am I going to be able to climb up that one? I don't think I am. Yeah, that's not going to be... We're not walking up that one. Is there any other trees we can get to? Yeah, there's no climbing out of this place. That's for damn sure. We do need to grab some wood up while we're doing this. You're not going to let me pick you up wood? Uh, we'll keep breaking it down. We need, we need stuff. Let's break that down. Yeah, like wood is like a hardcore necessity. And in, in this mode, it's a little bit easier to manage because in the other one, you have so much limited time before it gets dark or light. And you really, man, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be very, you gotta use your time wisely when you're playing the survival version of this. But I do enjoy the story to this. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're up here. Is there any way we can go down that way? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, shit. I can't jump either. Thank you. Come on. Oh my god, it scared the crap out of me. I was like, we're screwed. Alright, let's see. That would be the tree we need to get on, but we didn't have to get up on that rock. We need to get up there. There's more stuff up there, so let's see if we can go this way. Let's see if that triggered any journal things. No, explore the ravine. Is there anything down this way? I could fall down in the ravine. <laughs> That's about it. Let's go back up here to with it. Oh, come on. Come on with me. Come with me now. Oh, come on. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Thank you. The white just confused. There we go. See if there's any way to get up further up here. It looks like there might be. I'm going to grab this tree limb. Why? Because wood is good. That's the, new, that's the latest thing. Wood is good. Let's do this. Uh, can't feel my feet. That timer's wrong, by the way. Um, can I climb up this way? Oh, I can. Ah, ah, ah. Look at that. Gotta slow things down. 
Oh great, sprained my ankle now. You dumb shit. May as well rest up. Okay. Am I just gonna keep falling? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, rose hips. Mother nature's painkillers. Sometimes mother nature's your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled into water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. Keep your eyes open for other natural remedies. Finally, we get into the rose hips. I just need them rose hips, man. Boil me some up. I feel stronger today. Oh, wow. Climb out of here now. Do you? Okay, knowledge. What you know can save you. As you learn things about the world, either though your own actions or your own through interacting with people, you unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. What is it, nouns? Proper nouns here? Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of the other survivors you meet. This knowledge is tracked in your journal for future reference. Peachy. All right, how am I doing on, like, water and stuff? Okay, food, we're good. Got one piece of meat that we have not done. So we're going to have to climb out of here. I do want to grab some more wood. And now, actually, we're fine. Screw it. What's up with this tree? Well, I mean... Oh. I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't climb up on the tree that way, but Jesus. It's a mess out here, man. There we go. I was coming up a little too far. So now we're going to try climbing out of this piece. I guess it's early in the morning, maybe? I don't know. I get that feeling. Well, we need rose, nip, rose hips, don't we? Ah, uh, see? Already forgot. I'm not going to craft any up yet. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some so we have them. Because they're like really necessitized. And you never know when you're going to run into them. I mean, there's a lot down here. Oh yeah, harvesting them bad boys. Give me up, give me all of it. Now, if you guys have played this game in the past, or you don't, or you have, or ha if you have, you've seen the warning at the beginning of it. It tells you flat out, this is not a training simulator. This is not how you learn how to survive. But, honestly, it's true. This is a cool game, though. It does teach you survival aspects to understand, but I would not use these as common practice. I would not go looking for a rose hip. I don't even know what those would be considered in the wild. They might be rose hips, but I don't know. Only one way to go. Yeah, there is. Can you do it this time without falling multiple times and, like, blacking out into the... How I got back to my camp, I'm, try I'm trying to wonder myself. I'm telling you right now, if I fall and break... Yeah, we're going to do this. Let's hope Butterfingers has wiped his hands off or something. Come on. Get up on that rose hip. You want to survive, dude. You got to do this right. I'll take you guys. Thank you. Any more? Oh, more right there. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else of interest up here we need to grab? Really don't see anything. God, there's a ton of freaking rose hips, though. That's for sure. All right, let's get going. Don't want to be wasting the the estimated brave t <laughs> the time we have. There we go. Grab that one. I'm just grabbing them all. Like I said, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to expect out of this out of this series and how this goes. I don't know if you're in positions where you can or cannot find more. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Mackenzie. You got this shit. You're a trooper, man. Ooh, we might actually be. Don't get too excited. Probably gonna run into like a wild animal or some shit. I said it. I probably just curse. Uh, I do love how they do the cinematics in this game and the story. So you don't really know why you're out here. So let's let, we we have yet to talk about that. I know you guys have probably been like, "What the hell, man?" So that little cutscene we just saw was pretty cool. Finally made it. Yes, we did make it. I'm going to go back down now because I'm going to stay down in there. <laughs> Psych. Um, yeah, th that cutscene like, gives you... You don't know why you're up here, but basically we're up here because of her. We hadn't seen her in a while, and all of a sudden she pops back into our lives. And she wants us to go for a ride. She wants, to take, wants us to take her out in the middle of nowhere. So we do that, and this is what happens. We're living the consequences here. Now, surely she should be close by. I sure hope Astrid's not in there. Oh, yeah. Cutscene. I see you're still wearing it. Huh? 
wearing what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and just drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about them all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... But just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Oh my god, man. <sighs> anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Is Astrid still in the plane? Is her body laying around here somewhere? Am I going to have to eat her? These are questions we got to get answered, guys. Where to begin? I have no idea. Actually, I do. We're going to go up to the plane and check it out, but other than that, I have no other idea what else to do. <sighs> anyway, guys, I've been Bloodstalker. This has been The Long Dark, and welcome to Chapter 2. Peace out, y'all.